introduce myself, but I'm gonna do it again. My name is Jordan. I'm a proud YSPB alumni, and I'm also a founding member of the choir. So I am so thrilled and honored to be hosting this evening. Thank you all so much for joining us. Tonight, we're gonna to be talking about the impact that songs can have in shaping our lives and shaping our futures, maybe even just shaping a moment. I hope that tonight brings back beautiful memories for those of you who will be performing with us. And I also hope that for those of you who maybe aren't singers, can really tap into your memories and maybe have a beautiful moment of remembering a song that shaped you, even if you didn't sing it. Um, I've already mentioned music is so powerful, and for those of us who are in this field, uh, who have become performers, singers, musicians, and those of us who enjoy entertainment, who love to witness singing and music, um, it is such a special, special thing, and it's, for me, my relationship to music has been a huge part of shaping my entire life. Uh, it's literally shown me the world, but we're going to get into that in just a few moments. Wow, we're already up to 70 people. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the love, seeing all the comments. Hey, Mel, how's it going? Thanks for the thumbs up. Are we ready? Is that my cue? <laughs> well, everyone, I can't thank you enough for joining us. Wow, the numbers are still climbing. I love it. This is so wonderful. So this is our second Instagram Live concert. But unlike the first concert, this concert's going to include some very special guests, including four of our current young singers who will be sharing with you the pieces that they've been working on in our summer studio classes, our virtual studio classes, which are small groups that have been hosted by our conductors, Ms. Santiago, Ms. Nelson, Ms. Barnes, Mr. Barry, um, Mr. Sakis, and um, these students have been working uh, in groups of four to eight with one-on-one -on -one attention from the teachers and I think it's been a really incredible experience so I'm so excited that they're gonna get to share that with you uh, but to get us started I wanted to share some of the memories memories and songs that I came across when preparing for this amazing concert when you say the songs that shaped us and I made I made our conductors who will be joining us choose one which is very hard but the memories come flooding back and it's amazing to think about how one song could have changed the course of everything that you've done afterward. And so when I was thinking about these memories, I came upon my first young singer's solo. Uh, I believe I was 14 years old and I was so nervous. I can't even tell you, but I remember the confidence that that started to build in me. And not only I had been singing for a while, I had sung solos, I was in a vocal studio, so I had done performances, but this was different. Not only was I performing for an audience, but I was performing for all of my fellow choir members. This family of young people that I so looked up to and admired, and so to get to perform for them and to be chosen from them was such a deep honor that it really shifted something in me. And that summer, young singers traveled to uh, Salzburg and Vienna, Austria for the Mozarteum Choral Festival, where Z. Randall Stroop was our um, special conductor. And he uh, was selecting solos for one of the pieces. And in order to audition, all we had to do was raise our hand and sing for everyone in the church. Well, I raised my hand and the river Jordan is chilly and cold, chills the body but not the soul. When all around me looks so shine, I'll ask the Lord if it all were mine. Well, he asked me my name, everyone laughed, and I had my first international solo. And so it began. And. Uh, Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring on our first special guest this evening, one of our fabulous conductors, and she'll be sharing with you some of the songs that shaped her. So, Miss Sonia Santiago, why don't you join us? Oh, I have a whole list here. If you want to request to join, you'll... Oh, there we go. Here we go. Everyone, welcome Miss Santiago. Oh, I requested the wrong person. This is bound to happen. Where'd she go? 
All right. Wow, thank you all so much for coming. We're already up to 90 people. Hello! Hello! Welcome! Okay, let me just adjust a little bit here. All right. How are you Perfect. Doing How are you doing tonight? Great, thank you. Fantastic. I'm having a little trouble hearing you. Is there something covering a speaker or is no, it just me? I don't think so. I didn't change anything. I can move a little closer maybe. There, can you ask the audience. Can everybody hear Miss Santiago okay? Hi everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I've got my partner in crime over here with me too. It's a family affair. I love it. Well, hi Beth. It may just be me. Everybody can hear you fine. It's just my end. Who okay, knows? Great. Well, okay, before we get started, uh, before you sing for us, I wanted to ask you, you sent me a long text about the community that has been shaped, especially through this the singing choir community, and I would love for you to just share that with everyone, connect those dots of, you know, talking about the songs that shaped us, the people that shaped, shaped our community. Goes, yeah, and the, sh the people that shaped us goes very hand in hand with that. Well, if I can not get emotional tonight, we'll be great. Um, okay, so I don't know how many of you are aware of the many connections that this community has, even within YSPB. I'm the newest member um, of the team, so I came on kind of late in the game, but I've been friends with all of these people for a very long time. And it start, starts all the way back to high school, believe it or not. Um, I have made some of the best relationships of my life through music. But just to give you all a little bit of, of info here, I went to Forest Hill High School here in West Palm Beach. And for years and years and years, uh, Forest Hill has been putting out musicians and choral directors and band directors and you name it, performing artists of all kinds. And a lot of us have come back home and I'm one of them. But Miss D is also a Forest Hill High School grad. And so is my husband over here over my shoulder. <laughs> Say hi, Felix. And anyway, so that's my connection to Miss Rosakis is that we go way back in that we have a common person and that his name is Harold Bradley. And I'm not going to get into Harold real quick because I think a lot of people know him. But anyway, fast forward a little bit and I go to college. I did my student teaching under a gentleman by the name of Sean Barry. So there's my connection to Sean. So I come back to Palm Beach County years later and I'm teaching in Palm Beach County. And part of my teaching includes artists in residence at Dreyfus. And who am I teaching then but Miss Erica Barnes, Erica Mandigo at the time. Okay, so the connection continues. Now, what's my connection to Terion? Well, Terion went to school with this guy over here. <laughs> Elementary. So, years later, we run into Terion at a concert. She's singing, and Felix goes, I went to school with her. <laughs> so, here we are, and now we're all working together. George, student taught with my sister and went to Palm Beach Atlantic where I teach now. So that's how I met George. So as you can see, that's like crazy. But when we say we're family, we really are family. I and it's that. all because of music. So it's, it's been great. It's just that. wild. You sent me that text and I didn't know any of that. And I was like, oh, well, she's sharing that at the concert. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, awesome. would you like to share with us what you'll be singing and why? I will. Um, I, of course, when Jordan chose this topic, I thought the songs that shaped us, oh my goodness, do we have several hours? I can't pick one. And you know full well, it was only a few days ago that I finally gave her the title and said, okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, because how do I pick? Um, I grew up in a home where my family weren't necessarily musicians, but we listened to music all the time. When it was cleaning day, the records went on the record player. Yes, we had record players. And... Um, of course, the music I listened to growing up was Spanish. So that is always very close to my heart. Spanish music just moves me in a certain way. So what I'll sing for you today is entitled Amor, Amor, Amor. It's by Gabriel Ruiz, Gabriel Ruiz. And it's one of my favorites. I've sung this for years, but I grew up listening to this song in addition to a myriad of others. 
And it wasn't until years later that I then revisited these songs more as art songs than popular Spanish music. So you're gonna get kind of get a little flavor of both, more of a classical interpretation of maybe an originally contemporary song. Um, but years ago, to, to make another little pitch here, years ago I sang this on a on a couple of programs that Michael Yannetti accompanied me on. So the links continue as you can see. But anyway, Felix is accompanying me tonight and of course he's been playing for me for years. That's how we kind of got together, um, thanks to Harold Bradley and several others who deemed it their responsibility to make sure that the two of us connected and here we are 25 years later, um, still married. So they were right to a certain degree. So here goes, Amor, Amor, Amor by Gabriel Ruiz. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for the live accompaniment. Oh, everybody else is jealous who's performing tonight. Oh, little advantage. Just a little. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was fantastic. Thanks for having me. This is You're fun. so welcome. I know you have to run. You have an event. But thank you so much for joining us. You're awesome, Jordan. Bye, everyone. Enjoy the concert. Oh, amazing so incredible and i love that our students are getting an opportunity to see their teachers performing what a special night and uh speaking of teachers and students i did want everyone to know that we are using this concert as a fundraiser and we are currently running a t-shirt campaign here at bonfire.com you can see the link there it's also in our bio and if you buy a young singers t-shirt part of the proceeds come back to young singers so support the arts buy a t-shirt they're fabulous um, and uh, without further ado i will be bringing on our first student she is going to be singing for us a beautiful song from Oliver. Hello. Oh, I realized that my merch stayed up here. Divya, hold on. I'm going to come right back to you, okay? Okay. 
this is you know it's a it's it's a process learning how to work these Instagram live concerts but Divya here we go oh I lost you if you'll request to join one more time for me aha Hello! Sorry about Hi. that. <laughs> How are you feeling tonight? Good. Good. Well, I wanted to ask you a question because I loved your answer every time I asked. How yeah. does singing make you feel? It makes me feel happy and calm. Happy and calm. And then I kind of gave you a trick question last week when we were working on things about how do you think your singing makes other people feel? And what did you say? Happy and calm. Happy and calm. <laughs> well, I don't know anybody who can't use some happy and calm in their life. So, mm -hmm. Divya, I'm going to go ahead and have you sing your beautiful song. Okay. So before I let you go, and first of all, I want to tell you, you can't see the comments, but you are getting some major praise. Everyone loved your voice. <laughs> and before I let you go, I wanted to ask you something we talked about was, we're talking about the songs that shape us, right? And mm -hmm. I would love for you to share with everyone, what was one of the biggest lessons you learned from working on Where is Love? Well, working on Where is Love, it um, helped me learn how to read the notes so it's easier to learn a song. Beautiful. You became a better musician this summer, huh? Yeah! Amazing! And I'm so glad we got to hear your beautiful voice and see the hard work you've been putting in. Thank you so much. Beautiful job! Thanks. Well, I think everyone loved Divya's beautiful voice. I loved her, her response of happy and calm. I'm feeling happy and calm. Who else? Well, our next guest that I'm going to bring on is also from our summer studio classes. His name is Benjamin, so I'm going to get him to join us right now. Oh, Hello! Hi! <laughs> oh, sorry. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Feeling ready? <laughs> She's excited too. 
<laughs> you know, it's important we have moms and dads because they help us make this stuff work, don't they? There's always yes. a lot going on. So, tonight, you're going to be singing for us. Go ahead and tell everyone. Who will buy from the musical Oliver? Which has been so much fun to work on. And I would love for you to share with everyone. <laughs> Does she want to come and say hi? <laughs> I'd love for you to share with everyone, how does singing make you feel? Singing makes me feel so happy that I end up singing for hours. Um, it's a lot of fun to have a talent that makes people say wow and brings joy to people who really need it. I love that. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and have you start your song. someone say wow well you got a lot of wows <laughs> in the comments I gotta tell you wow beautiful job and before I let you go I'm gonna ask you the same question I asked Divya what is the biggest lesson that you have learned or lessons that you've learned from working on who will buy the biggest lessons I've learned from working on who will buy is how to hold some really long notes mm -hmm. crescendo which is how loud or soft your voice is and how to visualize what happened in your life to make it fit the song and it makes me feel like the song has been written specially for me i love that i'm so glad that we got to shape the song to make it work for us too right yes that was amazing thank you so much for joining us i hope you have a great night
Thank you. Thanks, Benjamin. I mean, come on, what amazing young singers we have. And with that said, I also want to let everyone know that Young Singers is having their auditions coming up. And, oh, this is interesting. There we go. So we'll be having virtual auditions and Saturday, August 8th, coming up pretty soon in a few weeks. And if you head to yspv.org slash audition, you can get more information about how all of that's going to work. Our structure has changed a little bit to accommodate for the changing times. But the good news is, because we're virtual, you can invite all your friends, your cousins in Connecticut, your cousins in California, anyone is welcome now to join Young Singers as we continue with these virtual classes. So check out the website for more information on that. Hi everyone, my name is...